Section 3.7, Inverses of Functions. What's important to know is that an inverse function undoes the original function. So we're familiar with the black box approach, where we plug in an input, x, and we plug into f to get the output, f of x, or y. Well, what we do with an inverse function is we take what would be the output, plug it into the inverse, and that will tell us what the input should be. The notation, as you see above, is the inverse of f of x is named f inverse of x, where that inverse is represented by a negative one exponent. What's very important to note is that this does not mean f inverse of x equals one over f of x. Really, really important, please make sure that you know that that when that negative one is on the name of a function, it means inverse. If we wanted to have one over f of x, we could write that as f of x in parentheses to the negative one. That would be one over f of x. But f to the negative one of x is f inverse. Okay, let's look at an example. We're given f of x equals 3x plus 10. We could imagine if we had a table, we could plug in negative 2, we would get negative 6 plus 10, that's a positive 4. We could plug in 0, we would get 10. We can plug in 3, we would get 19. Plug in 5, 25. But let's say we want to reverse the process. Well, this is when we want to find the inverse, and there are steps to finding the inverse. First, replace the function name with a y. Okay, so we write y equals 3x plus 10. Next, we want to interchange all the x and y's. So we come up here, we, we now write x equals 3y plus 10. Solve for y. We get 3y equals x minus 10, y equals x minus 10 over 3. And lastly, we want to name the function as appropriate. So this new function is f inverse of x, and that is x minus 10 over 3. Well, let's construct a table for f inverse. If we plug in 4, we get 4 minus 10, which is negative 6, divided by 3, that's a negative 2. Let's plug in 10. 10 minus 10 is 0, divided by 3 is 0. 19 is a positive 3. 25 is 5. So what you should see when we have, there we go, the ordered pair negative 2 comma 4 for the original function, the inverse has the ordered pair 4 negative 2. The inputs and the outputs are flipped. So this is a big idea with inverse function is that our input and our outputs have flipped their roles. And again, here are the equation steps if you need to write them down. Go ahead and pause the video and do that if you want to. But the big idea is you want to flip the roles of the input and the output. Your output now becomes your input, your input now becomes your output. We can also look at inverses graphically, and we'll do that in the next video. If you're ready, go on to that one. If not, make sure that you do understand the basic ideas of inverse functions and how to find the inverse function given, a, given the original function.